if you're into bird photography, the Cano Negro area is fantastic. You're gonna find, of course, some of the same animals that you're able to shoot in other places, but this is a birder's heaven. There are all sorts of waterfowl, great cranes, storks, birds in trees, birds in water, birds in air. You will love this environment. But in order to see this environment, you're gonna to need to take a boat. And that boat may not be ready when you first get there. We found ourselves with some downtime, and while I was excited to be shooting, I was getting bored, so I decided to make a couple of great shots. What I found right near the boat docks were some interesting things that I had missed at first. Somebody pointed up to the top of a tree, and of course, anytime you look in a treetop in Costa Rica, there's a pretty good chance there's an animal there. But what I saw surprised me. You see, there were bats. Cool fruit bats and other type of bats just tucked away, hiding from the harsh sun. And I never thought of bats as cute before, but through a long lens when I knew I was safely away, they're quite interesting creatures. And these bats made some interesting subjects. Now, I tended to shoot video of them because they were a lot of movement, but they did also make some pretty good photos. The only difficulty is, is that the autofocus features on your camera are going to tend to want to latch onto the brighter areas, which will often be things that aren't the bats. So make sure you either experiment with focus or you manually focus until you feel pretty confident that you got the shot. Another thing that I saw though was right under feet, fire ants. They were taking apart a fallen tree branch and gathering up all of the leaves for food. But the trick was getting low angle. Here's the thing though, fire ants hurt. They will bite. So in my case, I pulled out a zoom lens and I zoomed in from a safe distance. A very interesting subject, as you see here, absolutely amazing video to see what this animal is capable of. But keep your distance. Sometimes it's the little things that can hurt you. 